fucking hate putting these sort of things together. You'd think I'd enjoy it, wouldn't you? But that's what was in the box. An alien. It's about quarter past nine on a Sunday night, so I shouldn't really be making any noise. But I want to see if I can make this this piece of wood at the top. They call it dental dentil moulding. You can buy it online, but none of them seem to be about right, and they're expensive. And where's the fun in you know buying stuff online when you can make it? So got a scrap piece here. And my table saw because I fixed that that thing. Get the camera in. There's no play in this anymore. You know it moves up and down without play. There used to be a bit of wobble in it. Anyway, I could either run it over the router with a cutter in it with a little cutter. I'll probably end up breaking that off. But what I'm thinking is if I get a board and I cut lots of grooves in it then I can rip it. I need quite a wide board and I'll have to make it up in pieces like that. But if I cut grooves in it and rip it into sort of 20 mil pieces I'll get that sort of ladder effect. So, I need a square cutter somewhere up there. Oh, there's a dado blade behind there. Can you see this one? That's a 6mm cutter. There's a dado blade somewhere. Might be on that one. Anyway, what I need is a cutter. Oh, there's my dead overload. Yeah, I know. Of course, none of the spindles fit anymore. What I need is a cutter that leaves a square cut. A square. A square, you know. That's quite good. This numbering thing is no good anymore. It'd be nice to be able to just set me numbers. Mm. Up here. That's a nice steel roller. I've got a cheap one behind. I've got this cheap one. Wix, look. And the idea was that that would sit in there. Like that, and I'd make like a little. I've got some plastic somewhere, some perspex. I'd make like a little slide, but of course, never did it. It's 
maybe now's the time. Oh, fuck it, might do it tomorrow. Oh yeah, bought a new toy back where. I could put it back, but then I won't be able to slide the head all the way back. And I think it's more stable if it's close to the, you know, close to the pillar there. But I can wide that right out. And the table, little arm on it, so the bed will swing out, the table, bed, thing, whatever. It's all right. Quite quiet. That gets in way. Of course, didn't have anywhere to put it. So I ended up chopping off the ends off me. Yeah, what do you call it? Mortiser. Dug out me clamps. Got a little one there that my dad gave me ages ago. All my drill bits. Got loads of brad point bits. But I was missing. What size is that? Half inch. It's probably one I use quite a lot. No, it's a tiny little three mil brad point bit. Couldn't resist buying that. It's only a couple of quid. But I couldn't find the half inch one, so I bought another one of them. Bought another set of drill bits. I've got a box like this in the van. I just read a comment from somebody. So, and like I said in my video the other day, these are either in the van or in the shed. I want a separate set. So I've always got a set in the van and a set in the shed. Eight mils in the bit. set this up might not well, I've tidied that up a little bit make a new one another day I think what my plan is, is either leave this at this thickness and join it to another board, but I need like a little, little bobble between on the two, mm, don't know, I could either plane it down and make like a veneer thickness piece, or leave it at this thickness and join it to a board. It's quite a nice detail that actually, quite like that.
Right, so now they should be all the same thickness. I've left enough meat on them so that I can pry them off. They're the ones I rejected because they were spelched out a bit. I've got to rip these down anyway, so I'll be able to clean up some of these edges. But they're all no good. Now I only need two meters. This is 1200. So I should have plenty of spares for breakages and what have you. Let's see if I can pry one of these off now. So, what I'll be able to do now, rip these down on the table saw there, and they're going to get mounted inside a groove on the board. That's why I didn't want them too thick, because I don't want the timber to be too thin behind. Yeah, happy with that. I considered many different ways of making these. And the whole point behind these was so that I could get the grain going that way. You know, if it was just a plank, I could have just done it like that, but then the grain would be going that way. Could have stuck these to the board first. Yeah, anyway. Get these off. So they're all off. I only broke one. So I'm going to play with that one. And here, I have two little corner cutters. along the edge of this it needs like a little round to mimic the the wallpaper on the you know on the wall on the freeze above so I'll have a go with them see which one to play with but I'm just going to fit this in a scrap piece that'll do Looks like I'm going to have to sand every one of these little pieces. Bit snug but perfect fit actually. Than that, with that round, round bit on the edge. 